when mills seem to have come late to Scotland. Between the 16th and 19th century, about a hundred were built, of which only about 50 were operational at any one time. Ayrshire only had two, possibly three, traditional windmills. These were the, the vaulted tower mill design, most unique to Scotland. Here a stone vault, or cellar, allowed access to, for a cart to come in beneath the millstone. The example at Saltcoats is thought more likely to have been some sort of defensive tower, because although there's a, there's a windmill road, its original name was Castle Weirach. Ayrshire has many fast-flowing streams, and the main benefit of a windmill was it could work all year round, as long as it was placed in a windy position, such as on a cliff behind the, the raised beach of Ballantrae. These were meal mills, that is, they ground barley, oats, and possibly some wheat. They had a large wind cap made of wood, which was moved by hand and sat on a, on a ratchet device which stood on top of the stone tower. The mills had four sails. These were designed to turn the millstone and were made of wooden lattice frames which could be feathered or altered depending on the wind speed. However, the greatest danger lay in the brake. This was intended to stop the, the sails from going too fast in high winds, but the friction that was created could start a fire. The Ballantrae mill dated from the late 17th century, probably out of use by about 1773, and was certainly a ruin in 1790, when Robert Heron on his tour of west of Scotland mentioned it. The Moncton vaulted tower mill was probably built in the early 18th century. It was later converted to use as a dovecot or ducat, and you can see that it tapers slightly from the bottom towards the top. This prevented it from becoming top-heavy or unstable. The artificial mound that it stands on is particularly obvious at Moncton. So here a hole was excavated to create the cellar, and the vault was constructed, and then the tower was built above. The vault itself extended for a reasonable distance out towards the south. The wind cap with the sails stood where the roof now is. There were three floors in all. This would contain the millstone, a single millstone, together with the various gearings and such things as the, the sack lift hoist. A particularly large window faces south in, in the Moncton example. Like Ballantrae, Moncton was positioned where there was constant supply of wind. This was the one advantage over the water mills, for, such, for during the summer months many of them had insufficient water to function properly. Not in Ayrshire, but the best known windmill in southwest Scotland was probably the one at Dumfries. It is now part of Dumfries Museum and contains a camera lucida.